one of my new flower headbands in. I'm becoming more and more of a hippie. How is that possible? Hey, don't lift his tail at me. His butt stinks. <laughs> I'm armed. <laughs> yeah. I've got a boomer. And you know how to use them. I know how to use them. <laughs> right, boomer? Well, I don't have a lot of shout outs to do today, so I'm just going to um, welcome back the Yuck Mouth family. They were subscribed to us, and somehow, we don't know how it happens. Well, we know how it happens. It's YouTube. YouTube is... They got unsubscribed to us. <laughs> yeah. So, our numbers have dropped a little bit, and we've heard from three people in the last two days that they somehow got unsubscribed to us. So... If you guys are watching, yeah, we're not we're not unsubscribing to anybody. <laughs> so we don't unsubscribe to people. We don't unsubscribe you from our channel. If you find yourself unsubscribed to us, please resubscribe. That's all we can say. Yeah. Anyway, my question yesterday is: What is something? that you can never leave home without. Greg Myers, I never leave home without my Nintendo 3DS XL. Really? He's a gamer, of course. Angie, never leave home without Lucy the Chihuahua. Of course. Lucy goes everywhere with her. Uh, Bonnie Fazbear. I never leave home without my electronics, my computer, my Kindle, my iPad. I rely on all sort on all that stuff. Even if you're just running down the street, you take your computer with you. I hope it's a, a laptop. Even if it's a <laughs> laptop, I mean, just running to the store, you take your computer with you. <laughs> uh, Justina C, my phone and my keys. Yeah, I could see that. Keys to get in and out of the house and to drive. And your phone. I'd be lost without my phone. Destiny Swan. Wallet and cell phone. Uh, the Abyss 92882. Nintendo 3DS. Another gamer. Huh. Cole Today. I never leave home without my purse. It holds my Bible, my keys, my phone, and my water bottle, my Nintendo DS, and my chapstick. That has to be one big purse. Uh, Lindsay Wagner. I cannot leave home without my cell phone. I'm sure I am as bad as a teenager with my phone. I'm the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Salmon. I never leave home without a fire extinguisher. Do you want to know why? Here are some of the reasons. I might be able to help someone put out a hot head on the road if he gets in my face. <laughs> or my car may flame up, or your car, and I would be able to help you. But, some valid reasons. When I was younger, I used to, I used to, my truck used to be totally equipped with stuff like that. Fire yeah. extinguisher, tow cable, you name it. Yeah. You know. Fifth of scotch. I was ready for everything. <laughs> Never know of when you can help a damsel in distress. <laughs> Terry Johnson. Never leave home without her purse and all the stuff that's in it. Keys, wallet, phone, brush, etc. Uh, Bambi S. Never leave home without my keys and my money or my cell phone. But she only uses her cell phone for emergencies, so she wouldn't miss it if she forgot it. But if you had an emergency and you didn't have it, you'd miss it. Tanya Ray. Uh, can't leave the house without my purse and my cell phone and a water bottle. And Shaleen TV, Shaleen TV, I never leave home without my iPad. What is something you can never leave home without, babe? Me, I feel I feel very 
naked if I don't have my wallet and my keys. And I really, you know, I, I don't carry a purse much anymore. I don't carry a wallet. She gives it all to me. Because he's got my ID and my medical cards. And when I'm with him, he's got a debit card. When I'm with Megan, she's got the debit card. So it's like That's I don't scary. need a wallet for, you know, that. Unless I would need an ID when I'm with Megan. But, you know, I usually don't. I don't drink or anything. I don't need to show ID. Um... So, I don't usually care. I wouldn't miss that. But I would, and I, I have left my phone at home, and I have pretty much have had anxiety attacks because I've left my phone at home. I, I am, like, this is attached to me. And the other thing I would feel lost without leaving home is my husband. <laughs> okay. Today's question is, not in a sentence, give five, five words to describe yourself. Five. No sentences. Okay. Eight days left to buy your neighbor's t-shirts. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. <laughs> Alright, so, so <laughs> yesterday's um, question was about the, the trauma film Father's Day from 2011, um, and my question was, how many directors did it have? And it's kind of a trick question, but it's not, because it's one of those so low-budget movies that everybody did everything, so there was five people who were directed, acted, wrote, did special effects, did, they did everything. <laughs> All right, those who got that correct, there's five. I'm not going to give the names, you can read them on, there he goes, on cue. Terry Johnson, The Abyss 9282, Bambi S, Cold Today, and Destiny's Swan. Woohoo! Tonight, since it's summer, uh, I want to do something that was summery. So, Friday the 13th is pretty summery, right? Summer camp? Right, 14th? Uh, Betsy Palmer, who played Mrs. Voorhees. Um, she actually came out of retirement make this movie after 21 years. The movie, last movie that she did was in 1959. Why did she come out of retirement? There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight, everybody. <laughs> I'm Piper. Don't ask me why. Who's that for? For you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Stop. And we, even Ebony, will see you tomorrow.